Hello everybody, Ash the Pilot here. Today we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program. And basically we've got a small mission, is to launch a prototype satellite, which I don't think has any uses, but I just want to see if I can do it. So I'll talk you through what I've got here. T here I've got, I think, the T FL T800 fuel tanks. I've got six of them in total. Followed by the engines that I forgot names of, and I can't remember which ones they are. I see they're the T45 or the T30, it's one of the two. One of them is not very good, one of them is. And then, say, under here, we have another engine. This is, I believe, the LV-909 liquid fuel engine. There we go. And then it's got a smaller fuel tank, which is this one, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm not sure I made this quite a while ago, the FLT-400. I only made this, actually, yeah, I only had the game yesterday. I got the game yesterday. <laughs> well, um, what we're planning on doing is sending our little cable up. I don't know why, I, it's just this pod that I've got, the cable. I could have an unmanned. This is the... Sorry, let me slide down. This is an un this is a manned pod. This is basically an unmanned pod which I put on top of it, which kind of looks like a bit like a satellite because I put some aerials on it. But the only purpose I'm doing this for is really just to see if I can uh, get um, a small portable device, say like this, and put it into the orbits, and then see if I can actually return the Kerbal back home. So I'm guessing I'm going to be flying with Jebediah Kerbal today. Let's go and have a look. It does tend to is uh, remember guys it is a new game. It's alpha or beta. So there is quite a few problems with it. One of them being um, frames. Here we go, we've got a Jebediah Kerman down here. I could have get him to hop out if I wanted. There he is. To say hello. Right, let's board back our ship. Let's get ready to take off. So, actually, one second. Let me just put the throttle up and put SAS on, which basically will stabilize me as I take off. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. I'm not going to make it dramatic, that's all I'm going to do. I'm hoping the microphone will also be a lot louder um, this episode. Because once again, you know, I always am trying to edit my microphone because I'm... I don't know if it's either me just talking quietly cause, or if it's just um, my microphone doesn't pick it up. But apparently I may have solved it, but I don't know if it will um, actually help in frabs. But everybody else in things like uh, TeamSpeak the rest of Ash is saying it works perfectly fine now and it's not edited through TeamSpeak, it's edited through hardware and, <coughs> sorry, hardware and devices and stuff like that I'm just gonna I'll pause the recording, wait till I've got a bit higher in the atmosphere which you can see up here and then I'll come back after making sure that it does actually work perfect and fine thank you okay so the microphone may be a little bit fuzzy but I think I may have prevented that now obviously I'm still experimenting with my uh, settings but uh, if we see here, our altitude is 6,000, 7,000, I presume that's meters, but I can't actually see it because I have to turn the quality down while I play this game because it's weirdly not, my computer for some reason doesn't like it. Because yeah, it's a pretty big world, to think about it. Okay, so let's just get us a little bit turned, now we've hit 10,000 because we're leaving the first atmosphere. Let's go to the map view, let's see what path we're going to be taking. So right now, we're this is us here. We're going to be take. We're going to be flying all the way. And currently, we're going to head for the ocean. But because of the current altitude that I've picked, the apple point. I can't remember what it's called. It's AP. It's an apple something, I believe. That's the, our, what our mid-flight would be. So we're a little off center there, but obviously that won't really matter. And it's actually increasing at pretty good steady rate, which I'm quite happy about. I'm going to start a liquid f uh, fuel in these first containers, so I'll have to detach them soon. Turn a little bit more, trying to keep the altitude high. Oh wow, yeah, that's brilliant. I'm a very, very big orbit right now. I don't seem to remember this ship being this effective. Okay, there we go, let's deploy. Oh, goodness, one second. I do believe we got nudged a little bit then. Whew, one second. Let's, we can fix this. Guessing it was about there. Turn on the throttle a tad, and then we'll set off. Wow, I'm going to have a huge orbit, one second. I'm going to slow myself, I'm just going to turn my throttle off. Instead we'll do this as a manoeuvre. Manoeuvres is usually where I would uh, completely wreck what I was doing, so you know. This is actually going to be a pretty big manoeuvre. Right, there we go. That will be good enough. Hopefully we'll have enough fuel. Uh, 
Hopefully. I'm, I'm not really sure how you can tell. It's been five minutes. I will have to aim at this dots here. I'm presume I'm, I can never. Yeah. Listen, if it goes bad, I can just re-record it. So let's think of it that way. I'm just speeding up time here. You see here, in four minutes, I have to stop burning my fuel to create. Um, well, basically, what I want to do. Oh, damn, I actually missed it. No matter, we can fix it. Okay, put it on full thrust, full power. Okay, so here we can see fuel's going down, and here's the actual burn that we'd have to do. Just watching as our um, orbit slowly expands in both directions. We can see here we've got actually some. We were out of the atmosphere when we let the um, debris go, so unfortunately that's just going to hover around our planet now, and if we ever get really unlucky, we might... Oh, sorry, no, that's the debris there. Okay, so that's going to re-enter the atmosphere, we'll be fine with that. Okay, I'm just going to check how much fuel I've got left, because I remember I do want to get back to the planet. I don't just... I guess I could just abandon the coal in space, maybe send a rescue mission later on. Or I've never actually really um, even attempted that yet, so we'll see. I believe, yes, I'm actually losing my altitude now. Because I've gone past my AP point. Because that's like the peak of the uh, altitude distance from the Earth. Got a moon over there. The moon tried many a times to get over there, still no success. However, however, I guarantee you I will get there one day. Okay, there we go, so I've got an orbit. Just let it keep on increasing so I don't actually get pulled back into the atmosphere at any point. Okay, that'll be enough. Just gonna keep letting it increase, just to make sure. Okay, there we go. So now we should be in a pretty good orbit. I don't think at any point we would end up... Wow, I really missed that manoeuvre. I don't think at any point we will um, have to worry about being pulled back into the atmosphere. I'm never so sure because I'm not the best at this game. Now what I'm going to do, however, is just add a little bit of manoeuvre just to get us a bit extra space. I'm going to time warp over to um, the other side. Okay. I've got three minutes to do this now, so let's not worry. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Back to where we started. One second. Okay, so let's continue. I, I forgot where I was. I'm apparently just spinning out of control. One second, let's fix this. Oh, sorry. There we go. Put SES on that target. Let's line up a little bit more. There we go. And um, in two minutes, or well, three minutes or so, let's skip that down, I'll start to boost. Let's line it a bit more again. There we go. Hopefully uh, this th this will actually, let's see, let me get up here. Uh, this will allow us to increase our um, orbit to this instead. I may be <laughs> using the wrong symbol actually. Yes, I am indeed using the wrong symbol. One minute. Whoops, I was I was just realised, but I'm never so sure about just which symbol's which. Which is probably ooh. Okay, let's just boost now. Small quick boost and there we go. A bit more actually. Yeah, there we go. Right. So the fact that I just started the completely wrong way, I think that went pretty well. So we're in a very high, very high orbit. Still got quite a bit of fuel, so I think we'll be able to get back home. Now I need to disengage this pod right here. Now this is the bit I'm kind of worried about. Because I've never done this before. So it could just be a horrible, miserable failure. Let's do this. Oh god.
<laughs> um, right, I guess I should put it on the docking station, not just an actual decoupler, because now I just flew it off towards the sun. Where is that actually going? Actually, I guess it's, it's going to stay, this circle here is where it's going to go, so I guess it's going to stay in orbit, so let's not worry. We'll pretend that was a successful mission, and we'll start heading back into the sun. Uh, the sun, the earth. Kerbal. Kerbin, that is. Oof, I lost it then. Okay, so, we'll just do a very quick maneuver, and just get us straight back home. Because right now I don't really care about the fuel usage. Okay, there we go. And, um... I just think which symbol is it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna <laughs> presume it's the blue one, because that's where it it was the blue one next to the other one earlier, and I guess that I'm aiming a bit closer to the planet. I don't know. I'm need to it's weird because um, because the angle I'm at W means it, the, the the ball will go um, down, and down would go uh, S would be up, so it's reverse control. But then A and D still go the regular ways because of the angle I'm at. So it's a little confusing sometimes. Anyway. Ah, damn it! Oh well. Oh well. Just bust, boost straight into the floor, into the, into the Kerbal atmosphere. This is presuming that we actually do have enough um, fuel. How much fuel do we have? Oh yeah, we've got a lot of fuel, fuel. There we go. Here we can see we'll be re-entering the atmosphere. Um, not too long we'll be landing in the ocean, which means will be nice and safe. I think, just, let's just, one second, there's the door, let's just get our little cable out for a few minutes. It's come all the way up into space, released a satellite that didn't work, and now, we'll, we'll, I think it'll work, we can say it works. Just gonna admire the view. I'm gonna dare myself to jump off. <laughs> See, this is where the mission goes hor horrendously wrong. Yeah, okay. That's enough, Mr. Cable. You should board again. Grab. There we go. Yeah, last time that happened, I had a Kerbal re-entering atmosphere by himself, so, you know. I have to try and make it a little bit shorter. Maybe get to Earth a bit faster. Do you know what? If I position this correctly... Yeah, we should actually be heading towards the cable base. So we'll actually be landing where we took off, and that'll be pretty nice. Actually, I've just realised I don't want to do that at all, because I don't have wreckage all over the platform, because this is a nice little satellite, and I don't want to have it just flying around forever. I, don't, I want to have it flying around for a long time, so I'll just quickly increase. Okay. Yeah, I'm out of fuel. I'm out of fuel, but I believe I got myself out of the radius. So what I'm going to do now is give myself a quick boost and just get that off of here. That will return the atmosphere separately, I do believe. And let's, I'm not sure if you actually have to do this just yet, but let's have the blunts... I'm sorry Mr. Kerbal. Let's just unstabilize back on. Okay. We'll have the um, flat side facing the atmosphere. Something like that would do. We'd have to do more. And I'm not quite sure how to use the. Um, sorry, how to use the space ball too well, so I'm just going to uh, guess for a while. Some runaway, that's actually not one, I don't believe, because it says at runaway, not crashed. So uh, maybe it's still just flying around. Hopefully it's in the Earth's atmosphere. Here we are, just pull one little cable just sat in this little pod. Jedediah, actually coming back to... Oh, oh, phew. For a second then, I thought it was the old version where this was used to be my parachute. I thought I'd remove the parachute. But nope, the parachute's on the side because it was going to be used in a huge craft. Which is not, which is not um, really worked, if you will know, as I said. Speed up its head. Ok, 
Okay, so we can see here the Kerbal Base Station is somewhere along, along here. Yeah, because I remember this bit, like if you cut it off here, it kind of looks a bit like Africa, I guess. I always remember it's near the bottom. I wouldn't know, just embarrass myself with some really bad uh, geography then. But I think I got it all right, good. <coughs> Here we go, we're going to be re-entering the atmosphere any second, there's the effects. Looks like we got that more or less lined up, so we wouldn't burn up, I hope, I presume. So we've got a very high altitude. There we go, okay, we've entered the atmosphere, we're successfully in the lower atmosphere, the inner atmosphere. Let's deploy our parachutes. There we go. And once again, we'll skip time till we land. Jebediah look excited as always. Middle of nowhere, like always, where I always make it land in the end. Whew, just slowed by the nine time, I think I would have ripped our parachute off almost if I didn't slow it down. That would have not been good for a good old Jebediah. This time Wob can do a little, a few things which he shouldn't really be doing. But there we go. I think Jebediah is going to be out um, just walking around now forever in this in, um, just barren land of Kirby. No civilization for him, unfortunately. Here we go. Jebediah has now successfully landed. He's finished his space mission. He's back home where he belongs. Completely just lost. He's going to just live inside his little pod for the rest of his life. And there we go. So when I go to the space center, hopefully I can't see how wreckage floating around. Click on the satellite, I can now see that we have got Jebediah's little pod that's landed here. The wreckage from earlier that I deployed around here has crashed into the atmosphere. And here we actually see the satellite. And if I click fly, I didn't put any power on it or anything like that. But as soon as it loads, here we go. Our little satellite just floating around in space. Now, these things I want, I don't, I'm not sure how you unlock them, but you know, <laughs> small little thing just floating around now. There you go, so it's a prototype, obviously, just seeing what I get out there, and I've successfully got it out there in an orbit. And well, there we go, it's nice. Hopefully, we'll never crash into the planet. I'm getting some very valuable um, reconnaissance resources from our base down here. It can't rotate it at all, I guess. Well, thanks for watching, guys, with my small little mission, which I had so many failures in it. Um, please like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.